generally an artist as he goes along becomes more abstract the older he gets i'm no different at eight years old gil rumsey discovered he could draw and his passion for art art has always been a relaxing hobby type thing for me took all the electives i could in school and everything it was my thing art background middle ground foreground for decades, mastering more than the stroke of a brush, especially during the dark times, mastering the art of resiliency. It means to come back quick and fast from a disastrous situation. Starting with being diagnosed with bipolar disorder almost 30 years ago, then a fire destroying his Overland Park gallery in 2007. Wiped us out, completely lost all my artwork, all my antiques. A complete business. From a blank canvas redrawing out his life, Rumsey was suddenly diagnosed with a disease that nearly took his life. Guillain Bray is an unknown syndrome. I was paralyzed from the ne neck down for about seven weeks and on a trach, trach for about seven weeks. In the hospital, a total of 91 days, I had to learn how to walk. E. For art's sake, he carried on until a septic tank flooded his home gallery in February. We had red asphalt down that they just so happened to find asbestos under. So when the insurance company hears the word asbestos, the price of poker kind of goes up. Now restored and open to the public as it's been for decades. Despite these setbacks, Rumsey paints a picture of getting through tough times life throws at you. But the resiliency part comes in when you don't give up. You got to grab yourself by the bootstraps and pull yourself up. In Lenexa, Kansas, Leslie Delasport, KSHB 41 News.